These men are dangerous, plotting their way with icy calm to riches far beyond the wildest dreams of ordinary men. A minute later, the guard will appear around this corner, and you, Pedro, we will detain him for at least half a minute. Ask him for a light, ask him the way, ask him anything, but keep him there. We must have those 30 seconds. Head down. Ten months later, he said, everyone's being briefed on my rare visit to the Kinema, the word is water. These men are ruthless. Fear has no meaning for them as they hurl defiance at the wall. Help! Help! These men were born to violence and learned to meet the worst that they could bring with nerves of steel.
nearly an identity. The same as those thousands that flock into the city every morning. Uh, when each man who thinks that he's going to be rich and inwardly knows that he will never achieve his ambition, whatever happens, uh, I, I for one, uh, uh, was quite out of the question for me. For my job was to, uh, was to oversee the deliveries of gold from the refinery to the bank. <laughs> I virtually had a, a fortune in my grasp. <laughs> lucky I saw that. Yes, very lucky. Yes. Mr. Richards, with gold at 240 shillings a fine ounce, uh, that particle, assuming a weight of some 0.25 grams, would entail a loss of some six shillings, you know. Yes, well, I have a bit more for you to take out here. Just good. 100 gold bars, weighing to a value of 495,987 pounds per second. Very good. Mr. Richards, your, your deposit will be returned in the usual way when the bank enters the gold into their vault. Both aren't? Good. <coughs> Oh, 
Sporting Goods for an old pal. Yeah. <laughs> you know, you'll be the death of me, you know. Yes, <laughs> I sincerely hope so. <laughs> Yes, I smell the oxtail soup again. Oh, really? <laughs> yes. I'm so sorry. Oh, now, where were we? Uh, Duke Milligan was about to take a gander at Nicky the Greek's hideout. Oh, uh, yes, that's right. Uh, now, here we are. Oh, yes, here. I handed my fedora to a chap hat check girl with all the Venus de Milo had got, and then more. And I was admiring them. The more that when I did something in the back of this frame that set my underwear creeping up on me like it had been. Oh, I know that feeling very well. What <laughs> yeah, yeah. you do? <laughs> <laughs> a guy had a soft shoe down to the door from the gaming room, as quiet as a snake on tiptoe. And I didn't need my case history of smiling Ed Montana to know that Sunny Boy was his number one trigger man, Ricky the Filipino. Oh, 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 I, I thought it was little boy shorts that carried the rod for Mr. Montana. It was Mrs. Chalk, it was. But surely you remember, Montana found shorts taking liberties with the red hair. Oh, yes, and they took you for a ride, didn't they? Oh, so last night, I think it's all If ever I felt like looking up a new eye for the mile of the century, this was the time. And then I thought again of those 10,000 smackaroons. Yes, Mr. Holland, you're not concentrating. Yes, uh, I'm so sorry. I was waiting for the Ah, you must be upstairs. Oh, would you mind? I'll be my guest. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, look, Anne Hathaway's 
Okay. Very nice. For keeping straight. Now, wouldn't you, wouldn't you be infinitely prefer the relative purity of an old biscuit, eh? No. Oh, and uh, uh, South End Pier. Uh, yes, I, I've struggled for years thinking I should I'll get myself shot from all this. But I, I just don't have the courage, you know. No, I have all saddest words from tongue or pen, the saddest studies which might have been. Yes. Uh, do, do forget me. No, 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 why don't you come over to, uh, to, to, to my casting room? We're, we're working on um, an export line to oh, really? the paperweights, you know. Yes. Um, yes. We, 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 we ship a thousand of these across to France every week. Really? And, uh, well, anyway, it's quite a simple process. We pour the uh, molten lead into the bowl, and uh, when it's, uh, when it's hardened uh, and uh, cool enough, you can just spray it with gold paint and then it's ready to uh, be shipped to France. Yeah, it is. Yeah, there's a little bit of a I'll just do uh, this young lady. <laughs> now then, <laughs> slave, I have set my life upon a cast. <laughs> Richard III. Yeah. Really? Yes, yes. You know, I think this one is uh, beginning to look like a um, silk portrait. <coughs> no. Um, you know, I, I think I should call him the slave. <laughs> God, I'm, I'm sorry. Uh, Oh, no, Jaffa, you were a little bit unwell there. Was it, was it the heat of that place? I mean, I, I, I always forget. Oh, no, 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 I'm used to the heat in, the oh. heat in my job. Oh, really? Yes. Huh. Uh, so, not a lot of difference, really, between uh, uh, the gold refinery and uh, and your works, is there? Oh, no, 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 no. We, uh, we make, we turn gold into bars and you turn lead into Eiffel Towers. That's the only difference. Yes, if only I had gold to deal with. <laughs> it's an idle dream, but then I suppose it must be a big responsibility. You no, know, not really. Uh, if anyone tried to rob our, our van, it would be completely useless to them. <laughs> Without a method of smuggling the gold abroad, they would be completely useless. So, yes. <laughs> of course, if uh, one could melt the stuff down, Oh, you mean in a, in a kitchen stove? Well, that would be quite a job. Yes, and then export it, of course. Uh, mm. But, uh, wait, well, you couldn't melt it in a kitchen stove. No, no uh, we'd have to bring in a partner. Oh, well, risky, bringing other people in. No, really? <laughs> no, uh, no, I'm... I should imagine there's, uh, many a man would risk, uh, Risk is all for half a million or so. Uh, bearing in mind that uh, gold on the contour, uh, contour, on the black market in the continent is worth two and a half times the English standard really? price. Yes. Yes, yes, but how how would one get one gold across the local deal? Oh, one would need one would need a gag, of course. Gag? Well, you can't come by. Well, not really, as I say. Many of them would uh, risk their all for yes. half a million. <laughs> And besides, if one had the right partner, uh, shall we say, in the form of uh, Eiffel Tower Pickles. <laughs> Holland, <laughs> it's a good job we're both honest men, eh? <laughs> mm. Tis indeed. Yeah, yeah. Tis indeed. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Journeys in that dreary land. Oh, no, uh, no, really, sir. I'm gonna. I'm too old to change my mind. One's no. never too old to better oneself, Holland. No, I think what you can do with an extra 15 shillings a week. No, but I, I do like it. Uh, I do like it in the old bullion office, you know. Uh... The trouble with you, Holland, if I may 
may speak frankly, is that you haven't enough ambition. When a good opportunity comes along, grab it with both hands. It may not occur again. Yes, sir, I'll, uh, I'll take your advice, sir. Thank you, sir. Sir, sir, it has to be on Friday. Friday without fail. This week? Yes. Uh, uh, three days and two desperados. Uh, I don't know where we're going to find a man. Uh, bait. Bait. Yeah, 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 yes, bait. We'll travel. Yes. Yeah. Why not? <laughs> Jack Jones ever since Bobby Curtis got me down to that job of Bellamy's. What? 
Bellamy, what in Bromley? Yeah, that's right, last June, 12 months. Well, I was casing that job, and like you got me pinched.
right there where the exit is. Uh, now, when the uh, bullion van arrives at 4.30, the guard will get out and go round this corner. He will be detained by you uh, for at least half a minute. Uh, you can talk to him, uh, offer him a cigarette, uh, uh, offer him a quick shag, but we must have a little 30 seconds. Well, isn't that what one says when money's being tricked? I mean, are my rare visits to the studio? Oh, I mean, the word that. is Roger. <laughs> Roger. <laughs> now, to continue. Uh, Shorty and Pendlebury yeah. will both be in the van, yeah. which they will drive directly yeah. to the warehouse pier. Yeah. Well, it's a bit risky, isn't it? Mr. Pendlebury comes to the warehouse after the guards are seen him. It is indeed, but it's a risk that it's well worth taking. Yeah. We have 212 gold bars to move, yeah. and we need everything that everyone that we can possibly yeah. muster to move it, and that's only four of us. And besides, I have to have my alibi. I have to be blindfolded, I have to be gagged, I have to be robed in the dust and kicked and mugged and, uh, and my clothes torn. Well, you're the boss. Yes. <coughs> that's right. That's right. I, I am. <laughs> Well, he grass. Well, he grass. With a spit. No. Oh, that is unbearable. 
there's a round of steps. That's right. Come on. We've got twice as much work to do, so keep it coming. Come on. Told you, Bruce, you're quicker. You take your men and go to the west side of the street. So to Chris, you take your men and do the east side of the street and move towards the centre to join Sergeant Wilson. Rose, you come with me to the rest of the room. Uh, come on. <laughs> right. Leave the rest. 475,000 quiddy, David. Leave it. I'm the boss. I need my alibi. Now, come on. But as many a starboard blow would love to get his hands on it. It doesn't matter. Come on, I must have my alibi. Well, let me get you fast. Oh, better take me that. I've got to control this somewhere. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Can I call me? Yeah. Can I 
to trace him back here? Well, um, I mean, we do live in the same house, but uh, the map, the map of the route between here and the warehouse. Holland took it home with him. Now, now we are done for. No, we're not. Huh? Look, you finish the job. Come with me. With you. Well, your place. I mean, if they haven't searched the room yet, it's not too late. Oh, no, no, no. Well, there's no doubt that this robbery is the work of a master. 
the mine. And the police in every country are instructed to leave no stone unturned in the state of my search. Every possible clue is being investigated. However, small and unimportant it may appear on the surface, the Diana Tottenham is an ultimate success. Because anyone who traffics in gold was bought it too hot a Oh! 
June Edwards. Who? Oh, she bought one. She bought one. This is in her life. Go on, June, hand it over. Come on, June. Come on now. Did you buy one? Come on, June, don't be silly. Wouldn't you like uh, 10 shillings for it? Yeah. Uh, and the model just as good? Just as good as the other one. Yeah, look at them together, look, gentlemen. There's no difference, is there? No, 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 no,
the recent big COVID problems, the CID officers have taken samples of dust from four different bags. Completely new floor, sir. Okay, thank you. Well, the dust from the van we're going to place in the nitric acid, which will dissolve any metal apart from gold. Right. Here, try this. Looks like gold, but I bet what the team China it's not. Well, that's funny. I've just come from the place that makes My it. little girlfriend bought that back from Paris. Paris? Here, quick, try this. Uh, Attention everyone, please. Two dangerous men are at large in this place. You can assist the police by keeping gangways clear. Now keep calm and avoid crowd. Attention everyone, please. Help the police by leaving the gangways clear. Keep calm, avoid crowding, and don't Junction Road, over. 
Hello. All cars from M2 GW, stolen police car, now believed to be in the vicinity of Farringdon Street. Over. Put your foot down. Don't throw your head. Yeah. 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 Ah. <laughs> 